Daniel Gibbings is a fine luxury jewelry brand、um, that is based out of Santa Barbara, California. It was formed with the desire of crafting exquisite jewels with the most precious metals and stones Earth has to offer for the world's most divine being, the woman. The customers that are drawn to Daniel Gibbons jewelry are customers that have traveled. They know what they like. They're a little more sophisticated. They don't follow trends and. Want something unique? Daniel's designs are sophisticated, bold, and exotic. The beauty of the work is that it is unique and it is recognizable, and it's not going to be confused with another designer's work. It stands on its own. One of the reasons why I became involved with Daniel Gibbings, the brand, was because I was a fan of his jewelry. And he was the hidden gem of Santa Barbara. The work is unusual.、Um, I'm proud of that. And the people that do buy it really love it. They enjoy wearing it. It makes them feel good. The minute I tried on a piece of his jewelry, I felt like I time traveled to a completely different era. I felt like I was a princess, and there was an instant emotional connection for me. What inspires me is a passion, is is a love of working in metal, of jewelry, of something that'll be around for a long time. Every single piece has a story. Every single piece has an energy that Daniel transmits through in his creation process. The design process for me is. Is something that starts with a thought, with an idea, with a vision, and then in my mind's eye I see the pieces, I pick the stones, and then I go and start sketching. The inspiration for me was the the work that I saw in museums, and visiting Istanbul, visiting London, visiting Paris. And seeing the craftsmanship, and aspiring to that, I have a reservoir of places, of styles, of, of things that I've seen, and that all comes into play. I draw shapes, I look at stone choices,、uh, texture, gold choice, and put it all together on paper, and then go into metal, make the masters or the prototypes. It's quite a lot of work getting the piece to where I want it to be. I'm very meticulous about that. It's an interesting and an, an unusual procedure, but it's very enjoyable and rewarding. Once I discovered Daniel Gibbings jewelry and met Daniel himself, I knew immediately that I had to share what he had to offer with the rest of the country. With Seth and I joining the team, I can now rely on her more on the business side of things and the marketing, and I can. Focus more on creating. The brand has evolved into new heights because he has had the liberty to create without borders, without thinking about anything else, just to craft beautiful jewelry. My background is is South Africa,、uh, in a, a very tribal and、uh, craft and working with hands was always a part of of my upbringing.、Um, And Seth and I coming from Istanbul, it's also a strong art center, but in a completely different way. So combined, we give strength to to the company with our two visions. I think when the exotic combined with the African tribal and the sophisticated English side, I think we came up with、um, something remarkable. New Daniel Gibbings' work is the best work I've done yet. It's more exotic, less tribal,、uh, more sophisticated, more refined, more focus on textures. The high carat gold we use 20 carat, which now is a blend of 18 and 24, but it has the color of the richer gold, the strength and the durability of 18. There is a lot of reds. There is a lot of boldness. There is a lot of passion. There is rubies, rubellite, 
diamonds. It's all about combining passion and sophistication and elegance. I can't really describe one element. It's a feel, it's a look, it's a passion, it's a choice of color. We call it our remarkable line because every single piece was worthy of a remark. We were approached by the Zoltanite people. It's a stone found in Turkey. It's a color changing stone. They wanted designs and designers that would reflect the heritage of the stones and also transmit the heritage of the stones into their designs in their own unique way. And so the work that I've done around it reflects its heritage and where it comes from. So there's an Ottoman feel to the design. I love what I do. I'm very blessed. It's enjoyable and rewarding and, and designing and being in the jewelry industry is, is a beautiful place to be.